Happy Friday. This is take number six. We're going to do it this time. Bear with me. I have a cold still. And I wasn't planning on doing this video. But I woke up this morning. I was watching some of my friends on BookTube. And Jay at Faceless Book Reviews did a book review. And he made a comment in his review where he said, Audible is not reading. Okay. And then I made a comment, you know, popping back to him on his video and Dustin Neely, one of my other friends on booktube said the same thing that it's consuming. It's not reading. <sighs> okay. So here I am fresh from those comments, you know, less than an hour ago and I'm making this video. So we're back because I haven't done to let me know this week. Let me know. Number 12 is audible reading. Let's set the record straight here. So I went online and I thought, okay, by definition, what is reading? And so I, I found a few different definitions from dictionary.com, other sources, you know, just trying to get an idea in a sense what people define reading as. And so I have a couple different variations. Number one, the action or skill of reading written or printed matter silently or aloud. Number two, reading is defined as a cognitive process that involves decoding symbols to arrive at meaning. Reading is an active process of constructing meaning of words. And number three, an instance or occasion in which a text or other written other matter is read or performed. Hmm. So I also thought, well, okay, I can't be the first person to ponder this question and post it on YouTube. And obviously I wasn't, but I went in and found a couple different sites that I thought was interesting. Andrew at sense of mind, and I will link both of these videos. I'm going to describe below in the comments he did some findings and apparently comprehension, uh, reading is slightly better, but the results are pretty mixed when it comes to reading versus listening as, is it as a skill? Um, some folks are just better and, and, and listening is a skill. You know, when people get upset because some people listen to audiobooks and consider it reading and do so at incredible speed. They have skill, just like if I could read faster than you, we sat down with both of us with copies of, you know, To Kill a Mockingbird, and I read it faster, then I have a better skill of reading than you. And so listening can be the same way. But the biggest draw in findings that Andrew had was the convenience. When it comes to audible books, the convenience factor is the biggest draw. You can listen to a book doing chores, driving, walking, working out, etc., which you can't do reading a physical book. So I went to another source, Thomas Heidig. He also did a video. I will link it as well. He shared a great example I, I want to share with you. If two people head into work, one is in a car, one is on a bicycle, is the car cheating? I mean, ultimately, we're getting to the same destination. We're just using a different method. So with that being said, am I going to stop Audible because two of my book two friends said it's not reading? No, I'm not. I'm going to continue doing Audible. Audible is great. I'm able to read more books. I continue to do the reviews on the books I read in Audible. I don't feel like I'm cheating. So ultimately, like most things in life, it's up to you as individuals. To make the choice you see fits you. But ultimately, when it comes to these type of videos, I want to know your thoughts. So let me know. Talk to you later. Three, two.